The time has come for Elizabeth to have her baby boy, and she is so excited. As you might remember, Elizabeth was too old to have a baby, but God, in His kindness, blessed Zachariah the priest and his wife with the promise of a special boy. And finally, the day has come, and John is born. This baby will bring an important message. He will prepare Israel to meet their Messiah, the Christ. Many relatives and friends come together to celebrate the birth of this miracle child. A week after John's birth, his family travels, most likely, to a local synagogue. God's law demands that eight days after a baby is born, there will be a special service in which the father of the baby names the child, among other things. All of Elizabeth's family and friends think that the baby will be named Zachariah Jr. after his father, but Elizabeth ignores their bad advice and wants to obey God's command to name the boy John. Elizabeth wants to put God's word above her family's desires. Since Zachariah cannot talk, the priest asks Elizabeth what the boy will be named. She obeys God's word and announces to everyone that the baby will be named John. Her family is shocked. They can't understand why she picked that seemingly random name. After all, there is no one in the family named that. They think Elizabeth is making a big mistake, so they simply ignore her and ask Zachariah what his son should be named. Now, Zachariah cannot speak because the angel took away his voice for not believing the word of God. So for nine months, he has not been able to say a single word. So he signals for someone to bring him a tablet to write on. Everyone watches as Zachariah writes, his name is John. All of his family is amazed that he also picked the name John. However, Zachariah was simply obeying God's word. All of a sudden, as all the people look at each other confused, Zachariah's voice is given back to him. Fear falls on all those who witness this event. Everyone knows that God is doing something special. All the people throughout the hill country of Judah will talk about this for years to come. In fact, all the people who hear this story say, what will this child become? For God is with him. So, what can we learn? Well, today's main proverb is, obey God's word when people pressure you to disobey. Zachariah and Elizabeth had a choice to make. Either obey the bad advice given to them by their family and friends, or obey God's word. They chose God's word. You need to be like this wise old couple and ignore the foolish advice of people who don't understand God or his word. In the Bible and in your life, large groups of people usually give bad advice because they don't know God's will or follow his word. They tell you to follow your heart and your dreams, but God says, follow my word. Sometimes you need to block out all the noise you hear you need to be like Zachariah and Elizabeth who put God's word above ignorant men. So, I challenge you, take today's main proverb and turn it into a question and ask yourself, do I obey God's word when people pressure me to disobey? As always, my videos, PowerPoints, curriculum, coloring pages, and worksheets are free. There should never be a price tag on teaching children the Word of God. Follow the link in the description below to download them. Use them to serve our God by training our children in the ways of the Lord.